Hi everybody, we're still in quarantine and for those of you who want to do something really fun at home, this could be a great idea for you. So let's get into it. I'm gonna moisturize my face first with this, uh, this aloe gel from the face shop. It's really old, this one is really old. And um, I got this idea from Sydney Black. She posted these pictures on her Instagram and I think they're really, really cute and cool. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna prime first. You can use any primer if you want. I have large pores on my nose and this area, so I'm gonna concentrate the primer on that. Next, I'm gonna color correct just a little bit using a lipstick under my eye and around my mouth area. For foundation, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in this shade 322. Let's blend that out. Okay, now that I've blended that out, I'm just gonna highlight a little bit with my Fit Me Concealer in medium land and we're gonna use just a tiny, tiny bit of that. And then a little bit on my forehead too, down my nose bridge. I also like to put a little bit on my chin and keep it slow. Alright. Now for this look, I want my cheekbones to be very accentuated and then taking my Vice Aura Contour and Compare, I'm going to use a flat brush to shape my cheekbones. So I dab it on first and then I blend it out afterwards. We're gonna shape our chin too. So I'm putting that contour shape in a V shape. I'm taking that up on my forehead too so that it can bring up a little bit of warmth. All right, let's contour our nose. I'm starting from the bottom of my nose. Drag it upwards and then blend with your finger. And then I like to start with my brow, just like that and then blend it into my nose bridge. Make sure the edges are soft and blended. All right, for blush, we're not gonna do a lot of blush today. I'm using this really beautiful coral shade from Bench Paint Box. It's called Honey Glow. And it's just very faint, but looks really nice on my skin tone. As you can see, I'm just dabbing it on because I don't want to disturb the foundation and concealer underneath. Next is this BYS Bronzing Powder. This is one of my favorite um, things to use because it's very shimmery but it's not totally super glittery on your skin. And this would be perfect for our shoot today, I think, because it will just give the illusion of natural glowy cheeks. All right, for eyes, we're going to create a glossy eye look today. So I'm going to take this orange shade first as a transition color and just put that on my crease. Next, I'll be taking this brown, dark brown shade and then I'm going to blend that all over my eyelids. Now I'm just going to smoke my lower lash line with the deep brown shade again. Orange shade. Okay, I'm done blending everything out. Now it's gloss time. Just take your gloss, any kind of gloss will do. But I'm taking a brown gloss here. You don't need a lot of gloss, you just need a little bit. Just take that with your brush and then sweep it over your eyelid. Don't sweep too hard because you're gonna disturb the eyeshadow below. So just pat it a little bit 
and then swipe very slightly. Don't be scared to sweep it upwards here. Even if you run out of space, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take a little bit to my inner, inner corner too. All right, let's get our mascara. So for my mascara, I usually put the mirror down here. So when I put the wand on, it won't really touch my eyelids. And then of course you wiggle at the roots and then sweep them up. This helps prevent the uh, clumping of the eyelashes. And then for the lower lash line, I just position the mascara wand vertically. And then I do little sweeps like this. Careful not to poke your eye though. For lips, I'm using this Sunny Space Fluff Matte in Mood. And I'll be concentrating the color on the center of my lips. And then using my finger, I'll just smudge it out. Alright, that's it for our makeup look. Let's go choose some outfits. Alright guys, I've chosen some clothes and we're just gonna move at the back to have a photo shoot. Alright, now we're gonna edit our photos. We're gonna go to that app on the bottom of my screen called Prequel. And then hit that plus sign at the bottom to add a picture. Alright, now I'm just gonna choose my photo. By the way, I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit um, weird. I'm in the bathroom and it's already morning and my baby's still sleeping, so... <laughs> So yeah, I'm just choosing a picture here. Seems like I can't choose one. There are a lot of them. Alright, we're gonna go with this photo. And on the top of the screen, you can crop the photo by choosing a ratio. So I chose the 4x5 ratio. I adjusted the photo to my liking. And then click the check mark on the top right corner when you're done. At the bottom of the screen, click Effects and then choose the one that says Quarantine. Alright, here you can choose in different uh, varieties. I just chose number one filter. This one, number one filter. And then... Press that check mark on the top corner of the screen again. Now we're gonna adjust our photo. On the bottom of the screen, there's an adjust button. And then I'm just gonna play with all these tools like exposure, um, contrast. Basically, I'm just experimenting on the tools and see what I like. So sharpening the photo is one way of making the photo look a little bit more professional, make it look a little bit high quality, you know. And then let's add a little bit of grain for aesthetic. Saturation. Just play around with that. Next is the shadows. I like to add a little bit of shadows because it adds more depth. And in this case, you have to um, go down or like subtract it. I hope that makes sense in order to add the shadows. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna adjust the temperature a little bit.
And then when you're done, just press that little check mark on the top right corner again. And then save your picture. Yay! So yeah, I hope you had some fun today and of course you can do whatever makeup look you want. The glossy lids, it's just a suggestion, it's just an idea of what you can create. And tag me in your picture so I can see whatever you came up with. <sighs> I'm gonna go shower now because I feel so sticky and I'm so tired. So yeah, I'm just gonna see you on the next one. Bye-bye! So yeah, that's it for... Uh Any challenge for next time video? Mm. Mm.